Alright, now let's take a look at example 3. We're supposed to sketch the curve of y is equal to tangent 2x for part 1, the domain of um, 0 to 2 pi, part 2 will be 0 to pi, and part 3 will be 0 to 3 pi. So, just what kind of transformation is this tangent um, 2x all about? Well, let's take a look. Now, this is our standard tangent curve. Okay, as you can see, this is a one period of tangent x. Right, so this curve is a tangent x for 0 to 2 pi. As you can see, um, it goes up forever, okay, tending to infinity as uh, your x approaches um, half pi, and of course, 1 and half pi as well. Alright, now, as per what we discussed earlier on, the transformation from tangent x to become tangent 2x is simply a transformation of double the period. So we all know that this is actually one period of our tangent x. So if we were to change it to 2x, we shall, of course, be expected to see two periods. So let's check it out. All right, so as you can see, the cyan colored curve okay, is a um, two periods curve. All right, so where exactly is that two period? Let me show you. All right, now this is the first quarter. This is the second quadrant the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. Now, this will mark, up to this point, will mark the first period. Okay, now, of course, you go on again, one more quadrant, okay, the second quadrant, third quadrant, and lastly, the fourth quadrant. So, as you can see, there are two periods in 2 pi now. It may look a little bit confusing because of the su superimposed image here. So, let us get rid of the original one. So, you can see it more clearly that there are actually two periods in to pi. So this is precisely how our curve will look like for part 1. Alright? Now I can't emphasize this enough that you don't have this graphing software with you during exams or tests. So how are you going to figure this out on your own without this help of this software? Well, you have to be extremely aware of how your tangent x looks like in 2 pi. Okay, so we always use 2 pi as a guide. So tangent x looks like the green curve here as we can see. Okay, so what you must be able to do is you must know this by heart. You must know this very, very well that this is your tangent x in 2 pi. So you will have one period in 2 pi for tangent x. So this is our tangent x. Okay, so to increase it to 2x, it simply means that, well, now there should be two periods in that same 2 pi. Okay, so instead of simply having one period, now you will have two, double the periods, double the cycle in the same domain from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, now let us move on to part 2. Okay, now part 2 is actually the same graph. Okay, what they want us to do is to draw the same graph, that means y equals a tangent 2x, which is this red curve here. Alright, but what they want us to do now is to restrict our domain to 0 to pi. So we all know that 2x means 2 periods in 2 pi. Alright, so in 1 pi simply means you stop here at this point here. Alright, what it means is of course, how do you think it'll look like? Well, it'll look like simply like 1 pi, isn't it? Okay, so let us just change the domain here. Okay, to 1 pi. And of course, you see this purple color curve? Yes, this will be our answer because what we are required to sketch will be only up to 1 pi. Okay, so we're not required to uh, sketch the red part here. So we don't. And in fact, if you sketch this, you get marks deducted because the question specifically want you to sketch from 0 to pi, so you should not sketch anything more or anything less. Alright, so in fact, the purple color curve will be our answer. Okay, we stop here. Let's move on to part 3. Now, let's think about this. Okay, now tangent 2x means that, well, we have two cycles or two periods in 2 pi. So, how about in 3 pi? Alright, well, let's figure that out. So, let us now try to draw back our 2 pi. So we know that we should have, well, 2 periods in 2 pi. So if 2 periods in 2 pi, 3 pi will mean there must be how many periods? 3 pi. 3 pi means 3 periods, I think. Okay, let's check it out. 3 pi, oh, 
obviously this domain we can't really see the 3 pi so let us change our grids a little 3 pi is about 9 because it's 3 multiplied by 3.14 so it's about 9 point something so we go to all the way to 9.5 and we can see the 3 pi um, 9.5 isn't really good enough so let's move all the way to 10 ah so now you can see your 3 pi okay so let's count how many periods are there so you have one okay this is um, one period okay four quadrants refers to one period so again another one two three four okay so here up to here is the second period so one two three four the third period all right so I hope this example uh, can gives you a good idea of uh, how does uh, the domain affect the curve all right so in this case we have three periods for three pi because we have two periods for two pi all right and of course uh, the main thing that you have to take away from this example would be of course the fact that we always always use two pi as a guide okay we always start off with 2 pi so either we chop off like what we did for part 2 we chop off half of it okay or we extend okay one more pi for it alright